I've been using the Camera Plus 360 degree time-lapse camera mount and, uh, and just doing a few more uh, samples, uh, doing pans, just me working at the computer. And I also decided to try one, uh, basically putting the mount, the 360 degree mount, onto a sucker mount on the windshield of my car and, uh, and filming a 360 degree, well not full 360 degree, but a, a panning time lapse as I was driving across to the office to work this morning. Um, so I'll, I'll let you take a look at those samples and, uh, and then I've got something a wee bit experimental to show you. Do a tilt, and I did try it doing a tilt from uh, sort of looking down, tilting up, because it's actually lifting the weight of the camera. It's just not strong enough, uh, even for a GoPro. So that's not going to happen. But what I thought I would try is a tilt down. So you know, obviously, it doesn't have to lift the camera. It just has to lower it. I'm using a GoPro, so as pretty much as light as you're going to get with a camera. And, uh, and so far it seems to be working, but I guess the, the one thing to see will be whether or not you know, the weight will affect the speed at which it moves. It certainly looks to be uh, pretty smooth to me. It's, um, I was quite surprised. I thought there would be more variation, and you know, as it dropped and there was more weight on it, I thought it would go down faster. But it seemed uh, it seemed pretty good to me. So yeah, for a GoPro, fantastic. Um, it's a complete added bonus that it can do that. But for I think it's about fifteen pounds. You know, it's um, it's really not uh, a lot of money for something that, although limiting in that you only have the one speed and it only goes one way. And you can do the, um, you know, the, the vertical tilt with a GoPro. Um, it's it's a, a great cheap little tool to add some some uh, just some fanciness to your your time lapses.